Hola everyone, Melissa Miranda here and welcome to lesson number one on Live Life Your Way. Today's topic, we'll be talking about what it means to live an excuse-free lifestyle. So I'm so excited. Now before we begin giving you the content, I first want to declare our pledge because this is going to remind us as to why we're here today. So I have my card here. I'm going to read it to you and here we go and I ask that you recite it with me. And I would even ask you all to repeat this every day. It's something I do every day to remind me of what I'm declaring for myself and for each and every day. So here we go. I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth. I say yes to myself and completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. Wonderful, thank you for reciting the pledge with me. Now let's get on to the juicy stuff. So today we're going to be talking about what it means and how to live an excuse-free lifestyle. Cause it's great, I could tell you what it means, but I wanna give you the material, the content, the tools to use so that you can also start living an excuse-free lifestyle. So first, let's talk about what it means to live an excuse-free lifestyle. An excuse-free lifestyle is making the decision to live life your way, under your terms, without allowing others, situations, and excuses to keep you or stop you from following and going for your dreams. An excuse-free lifestyle is when you create your own rules and your own guidelines. See, over the years, I have seen many people unhappy and suffering. And I always ask myself, why? Why am I suffering? Why are the people I love suffering? Why are we so all unhappy? And after digesting this and connecting with the angels and really getting in tune with myself, it became very clear why this was occurring. One of the biggest factors as to why we are unhappy, why we are suffering so much, why we're always so sick. It has come down to two things that I've seen. And the first one is our beliefs, what we think of ourselves, what we feel that we deserve at that moment. And the second thing is the condition behaviors that we have learned over time, through growing up, through our experiences, through also just witnessing others. We have been conditioned to not ask for what we want and deny ourselves the pleasures of life. We, we have denied ourselves the, the wanting and we always say we want this, we want that, and I deserve this and I deserve that. But the truth is that subconsciously and internally, we don't. We don't believe that. And we'll get into the subconscious beliefs in another video. But I wanted to explain to you why it has been so difficult for us to actually live an excuse-free lifestyle and making it mean something that it doesn't. See, an excuse-free lifestyle is something of excitement is every day you wake up and you do what you feel is good and I know what you're probably thinking if I lived an excuse-free lifestyle what about my responsibilities what about the the people that I'm here to I have children or I have a job I have bills yes that is all a part of living an excuse-free lifestyle 
See, one of the main things that we'll be talking about when we get to the part around how is owning our responsibility. And we'll talk about that more later on. But I just wanted to share with you that we are denying ourselves this pleasure. And it, we don't have to do this anymore. And there is an easy way to do it where we can empower ourselves to live this excuse-free lifestyle and also empower others without harming each other, without having to take away from someone else to give yourself something. This is about through my empowerment, through your empowerment, through our empowerment together, we bring in our own rules and our own guidelines and we see that we ourselves want to live this way. Living an excuse-free lifestyle is making the decision to choose freedom. Freedom is the ability to see that you have choice. See, we will all talk about freedom this, freedom that, but the truth is that we do not live a free life. We have chosen to not live a free life. And what I mean by this is that we give ourselves all these rules, all these guidelines that actually take us away from our desires, that actually push us away from earning the money that we deserve, having the loving relationships that we desire that will bring us so much pleasure. We deny that from our from ourselves because we choose to believe that we don't have a choice. See, freedom is the belief that we have choice and it's also the seeing, the experiencing of choice. You have a choice every single moment of your life and with choice comes the effects, right? So it's like the cause and effect. Your choice is the cause, and then the effect is whatever happens afterward. Living an excuse-free lifestyle is creating your own rules and your own guidelines. And this is really, really exciting because I have seen, and even for myself, and like I did not even know that I have the choice to even do that. We have been so programmed, so conditioned to believe that certain things are supposed to be that way because that's how it's always been. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to live that way no more. Just because it's been that way for so long doesn't mean that that's the best way for you. So now let's get to the juicy part, how to live an excuse-free lifestyle. There are four steps that I want to walk you through and step number one is allowing ourselves to see that we have a choice, that we have freedom. And I know I talked about this a little bit earlier, but this is really seeing. Step number one is to recognize I have freedom. What are things that are I'm telling myself that, oh, it's always been that way, so I'm going to keep doing it that way, even though it's not working for you, even though it doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't feel good giving it. It doesn't feel good receiving it, but you still do it just because you were told that that's the way it should be or because it's how you've been doing things so far. I'm here to tell you step number one is breaking those barriers. It's making that list of all the things you do want and really seeing what are the things that I'm telling myself every day? What are the choices that I'm choosing every day? Are these choices choices that are supporting what I want? Are they supporting my goals? Are they supporting my passion? Are they supporting, supporting my ideas of love, of relationships, of pleasure? See, we descended here on earth as spiritual beings having a human experience. We chose to have a physical body to feel what it feels like to actually have a body, to feel what it feels like to have a, a body pleasure, right? To have pleasure, sensation, right? When someone caresses your skin, that's a pleasure. It's creating some form of sensation, okay? And that is why we chose to come here, a part of why we chose to come here, is to experience what it would be like to have a physical body. Because as a spiritual being, 
we are limitless right and that's what we're so used to and that's why a lot of the times we find ourselves unhappy because our spirit our soul feels the missing component of everything is dispensable to me everything is available to me everything is here and in this physical body it becomes a little more challenging and we don't know how to navigate that and that's a part of why we are unhappy because we haven't learned how to navigate and see that this body that I am in is a vehicle of pleasure it's a vehicle of my expression. It's a vehicle of how I am present. It's a physical thing to show my presence here for the time being. So let's honor that, right? So step number one is about allowing yourself to see the choice of your freedom. To see that you have choice. And I am asking you to choose freedom today, okay? Choose freedom today. I'm choosing freedom today. I'm choosing freedom every single day. And even when I have those sad moments, those low moments, when just earthly things happen to us, I still choose the freedom to choose to feel, right? I have the choice to feel any way that I want. And sometimes I do want to cry. And sometimes I don't. I just want to be happy. I just want to express myself with you, right? I want to express myself with everyone right so I ask you what are some things that you've been telling yourself that it's always been that way and that's why I do it but it's not fun anymore see if there's another way that you can do that okay so that's step number one step number two and step number two is just a continuation step number two is to become clear about what your desires are right so step number one we're choosing freedom Step number two, we're becoming clear about our desires and really seeing what we can do every single day that supports that, is the beliefs behind it, how we feel, how we think, how we talk about what we feel we deserve, what we feel that we can share with others, what we feel that we want to receive, and what we feel that we want to give. Now step number three. Now, step number three is the most important step I feel, okay? Step number three is where most of us give up. And I'm asking you, please, 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 please do not give up in this step. It is worth every effort and it's going to take you really saying, I want to live life my way. I want to live life my way and I deserve that okay so step number three stop making excuses <laughs> stop making excuses for things that you do want in your life stop telling yourself you can't have it see we always say oh yeah I want this but and we come up with all these excuses and I'm telling you leave the excuses at the door Remember the pledge, I am willing to do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. And that is stop making excuses. Stop it, just stop making excuses. <laughs> I have to say it one more time, stop making excuses. Stop making excuses for why you can't go for that job, why you can't ask your partner for the love relationship that you want why you can't ask your boss for that raise. Stop giving yourself excuses as to talking yourself out of the things that you want. So here's a quick example. Have you ever been shopping, you know, you're shopping, maybe you're going and buying some clothes and you're like in your favorite store, okay? Whatever store that that is, right? So you're in your favorite store and you're shopping for clothing and you see this outfit, it's amazing. It's beautiful, you, f you know you're gonna feel good in it, you know it's gonna make you just feel really, really good, okay? And you see the price, and the price is a little bit up there. Let's say, you know, it's, it's $10 more, $20 more than you would typically pay for an outfit like that. 
So then you go, okay, let me think about it. And you hold it in your bag, right? Your shopping bag. And then you go along and you go in the store and you find something else and you're like, oh, that's cute. But then you see, you're like, okay, so what do I do? Right? And this is what I've seen a lot of people do. They'll go for the thing that is cute, right? Versus the thing that really felt good. And when we do that, we tell ourselves, that we don't deserve the good thing, right? What is that $10 or $20 more, right? That is going to give you something really satisfying. And you know what I've seen as well is that when you go for the little cute thing that you weren't so into, but you just got it because you wanted to get something, what ends up happening is you realize you don't really wear it. You don't use it versus if you would have went and purchased that perfect outfit that you wanted you would have been wearing it all the time you would have actually gotten your money's worth of that outfit versus that other outfit the cute outfit is just sitting in your drawer taking up space and reminding you every time you see it I should have winning I should have got that other outfit Right, so this is that ex giving ourselves an excuse, right? Talking ourselves out of what we feel we really want, what we feel that we really deserve and desire. And I know that's like a really small thing and I want to go into like a huge story because I wanted to show you that in your everyday decisions, you want to make sure that you are making decisions that are actually empowering and supporting your goal okay yeah you you know there's different ways of seeing this right that's one scenario with that outfit and you know the awesome outfit versus the cute outfit and then let's say the same kind of scenario and this person goes you know I'm gonna get the cute outfit because I want to save money for this and that and that makes me feel good right so it's also about our perception on how we see things and this is really really important when we are living an excuse-free lifestyle okay I'm not saying go out there and be irresponsible because that is not a part of living an excuse-free lifestyle in order for us to really stand in power in order for us to really be who we are in order for us to shine our light the first thing we must do is become responsible for everything that we are a part of okay our role in relationships our role with money our role with parents our siblings our friends our neighbors okay how we spend our health all of it so step number three is stop making excuses and become responsible Okay, and what is responsibility? Responsibility is saying, I am not a victim of my situation. And this is what I've seen a lot with working with a lot of my clients and just people in general. And I've seen this in myself as well. So I'm not gonna outcast myself. It's where we make ourselves the victim of a situation. You did that to me or that thing happened. And why me, right? All of these feelings are actually taking away our power and when we do that we create an excuse that pushes us away from what it is we actually do want to attract in our life if you are serious about living an excuse free lifestyle if you are serious about creating and manifesting your desired life then you need to stop making excuses and become responsible for everything that you are a part of Okay, and responsibility is not about guilt, it is not about shame, and it is not about making other people right or wrong. Okay, living an excuse free lifestyle and being responsible is about you seeing your own role in how you feel and taking full responsibility for your own feelings and your own actions. Step number four is doing whatever it takes okay so doing whatever it takes is I'm going to get up in the morning even though I'd rather just watch TV and do nothing and get my work done right it's also being kind to yourself so doing whatever it takes is really listening to your body 
listening to what your heart needs and listening to what your goals are. You need to take all of that into consideration. You need to have that balance. So step number four is all about doing whatever it takes, living in balance. Okay, and that's really, really important for each and every one of us. As you may know, my voice isn't fully out. I was sick last week and I was like, oh my God, I'm sick right before I have to go and do this wonderful video that I really, really want to do. And my voice was so out and I could barely breathe and I was constantly like, <gasps> right, doing that. And I was like, you know something, it's going to work out. And I did whatever it took. And what it took me to do is to take a break lie in bed and nourish myself okay giving myself vitamins taking care of myself eating healthy trying my best to bring in positive energy about around myself around my needs around my wants right so that i could then feel better to be in front of you so this is about recognizing right recognizing what it is that you need in each moment Okay, and what I've noticed is that a part of this, one of the hardest things is keeping ourselves accountable. See, these are great and I'm giving you these tools, but I'm going to let you know that most of you will not do this. And that makes me really, really sad because the truth is that if you don't have accountability, you and you continue to create the excuse and a lot of times we don't even know that we're giving ourselves excuses. So, this is what I want to share with you. If you are really serious about living an excuse-free lifestyle, I want to give you a beautiful gift. I'm going to gift you a 20-minute complimentary strategy session where we sit together and really strategize around what it is that you need to work on on your every day so that you can bring yourself closer each and every moment to your to your desires to what it is that you deserve what it is that you want and really bringing pleasure into your life so i'll have the link below here and below this video um so i'm really really excited about this if you are really really excited about living an excuse-free lifestyle and you feel that you are ready to take the next step. You're no longer going to allow yourself to give, the, give yourself excuses. Then I want to speak to you. Okay, so I'll have the information below. And I really, 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 really want to thank you all for being here. Please like, subscribe, share this content with everyone you know will benefit from this material because this is not something that I take lightly I want you to live an excuse-free lifestyle I want you to join me in living that way so I am asking you join me join the pledge and remember to claim your free 20-minute laser strategy session below I'll have the link to my calendar where you'll be able to book it right then and there so I'm looking forward to connecting with you all and until next week, I love you unconditionally. Namaste!